Hello Libra, I hope you're doing well. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Libra, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra, for Libra's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Libra in their life and how is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Libra in their life and how is Libra currently doing oh this one wants to be extra and how is libra currently doing on their soulmate journey Oof, you are stressed out a lot of stress in your life right now um problems with communication with your soulmate misunderstandings unanswered questions frustration yeah this is you feeling a lot of confusion in your life right now trying to figure out how to proceed correctly with your personal life your work life yeah you're trying to be strong though and you are you are very strong very resilient you're dealing with a lot of things all at once being pulled in many different directions having a lot of responsibilities look how strong you are this is victorious energy you're not giving up but you recognize at the same time that you feel emotionally unfulfilled with the way things are in your life right now. You don't feel emotionally fulfilled. You feel disconnected emotionally. Yeah, this is you trying to search for something greater spiritually, emotionally. You're realizing that things, possessions, money uh, will not bring you that emotional fulfillment. You realize that it's something that has to do with spirituality, feelings, emotions, right? Not things. Yeah, you're looking for some kind of change in your life, like a um, big change. You're looking forward to something new. Yeah, you're searching for something new. Mm -hmm. New chapter in your life. Universe, please show us. Hmm. Some of the people in your life you're going to have to let go of. Yeah, like you already know that certain people, if you want to see positive change in your life, you cannot enter that new phase of your life, new chapter with some of the people that are hanging around you. You see this? Yeah. Like you have to let some of the people go. Yeah. Um, you know who they are, right? Whether it's your friends or in the family or neighbors, whoever, right? You see clearly that you outgrew them spiritually, right? That you need to move on. Of course, you're going to wish them well, right? On their journey. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Libra. How is Libra currently doing on their summit journey? You still love your soulmate. Yeah, you still do love this person. Uh, you know you're going to have to have some kind of communication with your soulmate. Some kind of clarity uh, is needed here. You're still holding on to... It's hard for you to let go of some people uh, that you've known for a while. You see this? But you know that you're going to have to kind of let them go, release them to be able to find what you're looking for this emotional fulfillment joy it's, it looks like some people bring you down like uh, debbie downers yeah this is how you view your soulmate based on their behavior towards you you see kind of in and out of your life not really committing not really expressing how they feel what to expect not communicating effectively this is you taking your power back moving on with your life yeah, so endings are showing up and new beginnings. You see this? This is you realizing that you have outgrew some of the people and like you need to move on with your life. And some of those people you need to say goodbye to. 
Um, so yeah, they won't be able to join you on your journey because they're not at that level yet. So you are reaching higher level of spiritual awakening consciousness, right? Better understanding of why we really here, right? Yeah. Yeah, balancing your karma, learning important lessons. Congratulations, Libra, because that's why we are here. We're here to balance karma, learn very important lessons, and looks like you're doing it. Yeah. You shine at your job. You are excellent at what you do. You have people who admire your talents, your efforts, your work, your successes, but you feel emotionally unfulfilled. It's not the job, it's the environment you're surrounded by. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you are doing other people's work as well, which is really not fair to you. Let me see what's going on here. You're also going to have an opportunity to travel somewhere, most likely far, and it's going to be really good for you. I would take that opportunity, say yes to that travel. Yeah, universe, please show us. So this is um, spiritual travel, like going to higher dimensions, meaning spiritual awakening, but also uh, physically, you're going to have an opportunity to travel somewhere far, which is going to be good for you. It will bring you clarity. Yeah. New job is showing up. Yeah, you see, you're doing other people's jobs. You are overburdened, not paid enough for the amount of work you do, and it's not fair to you. New job is showing up here for you, whether it's a new place of employment, new position, new way of doing business. Yeah, you see clearly that your job is not the problem. It's the environment at your job. Some people are not doing their jobs and you see it clearly. Ooh, somebody new showing up here. New person, romantic interest showing up here for you. Let me see what's going on with the soulmate you've been dealing with. The universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Libra that Libra has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Libra towards Libra at this time? Especially emotionally. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Libra? And how is that soulmate of Libra towards Libra at this time? Especially emotionally. This one is trying to hide from me. Let's see how your soulmate that you've been dealing with. Uh-oh. Look what's showing up in first position. Yeah. So this person, mm, um, you feel is not going to work out for you. Look, you see this? Um, this is not, this is a red flag. Yeah. And so it looks like you're making the right decision for letting them go. Yeah. Um, wow. For this to show up in first position, that speaks volumes. Yeah. They're still holding on to you, though. This person is not able to completely let you go, forget you. But... Yeah, this was a serious relationship between you two. It wasn't just some kind of frivolous dating situation. This was a serious relationship between you two. It's hard for them to let you go. But at the same time, they recognize that this relationship cannot continue with this energy in it. You see this? This toxicity. They realize that. So that's a very good sign. They see it clearly. Yeah, you are very important to this person. They view you as very different from other people, yeah, that they've been with. They view you as someone of quality value. They respect you because you're not chasing them. You're not desperate. You're not needy or clingy. You recognize your worth and value. Yeah, so they do realize that they didn't meet you halfway. You see this? That uh, they took you for granted for some reason. Um this is them realizing that they're losing you or lost you in some cases already. This is them trying to learn from whatever happened. Yeah, they, this is them feeling they need to go within, reflect, 
to learn from this. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Universe, please show us. So this relationship became toxic. Yeah. And drained you, Libra. Universe, please show. Some of you are letting go of Capricorn. Virgo. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Libra? And how is that soulmate of Libra towards Libra at this time, especially emotionally? They respect you a lot. This person doesn't want to lose you. Yeah. They're hoping for communication between you two for clarity. They don't want to lose you. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they want to reconcile with you for new beginning. This person is very connected with you spiritually, emotionally. Look how scared they are that this is truly it, that they're going to have to take action, that the two of you are at a final crossroads. You see this? So it looks like this relationship had many breakups and the two of you got back together many times and they feel that this could be the final breakup. Like this could be it. They're trying to be brave. They're trying to be courageous to approach you. Look, look how heartbroken, devastated they are over losing you. Absolutely devastated, but very good at hiding their emotions, feelings from the outside. Holding Ace of uh, Swords, pointing down. They want so badly to clear the air with you, communicate with you. Some of you are letting go of Libra and Sagittarius and Gemini. But no matter what sign they are, this is them wanting to rush towards you with uh, communication of great importance to them. But this shows me that they've said things to you that were mean, uh, hurtful, and they regret it deeply. Maybe they were angry. We all say things that we regret later when we uh, are angry, right? But So it's important for people to um, enter communication uh, when we are calm, right? Because when we enter communication with someone, when we are really angry, we're going to say things that we're going to definitely regret saying, right? But yeah, so that's normal when we are upset, right? But it looks like you guys had serious disagreements, fights in this relationship. They know they can't just come back to you with the same behavior, and pretty words that they need to prove themselves to you. And this person's aware. So that's a very good sign because we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. But the good thing is they see very clearly what the problem is, what they need to work on, fix. The question is, will they do it, right? Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Libra that Libra has been dealing with. Oh my goodness, they're so heartbroken. This person has been through a lot in life, but it looks like they have tendencies to hold on to uh, the past. Like they don't allow themselves to heal, to forgive, to move on with their life. It's like they're holding on to all that negativity, emotional baggage, and they realize this is not the way to live your life. You see this being weighed down heavily by the past. You see this, they see it it now which is good yeah you see they realize they can't act like this if they want to have a solid relationship with you and your trust and respect that they need to act like a king or queen not a knight of wands all over the place right Ooh, so yeah this person is used to relationships where they just come and go where they don't commit, where they um, don't commit to one person. Yeah. Um, they realize they didn't put work into this relationship. Yeah. You're going to be celebrating some kind of accomplishment that has to do with work. Yeah. You're going to be celebrating it, whether it's a new job, promotion, race, new business, or new way of doing business. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be celebrating it. You are excellent at what you do. Wow, Libra, I wish you all the best. Sending you lots of love, big hugs, and I'll talk to you next time. Please take care of yourself.